We're the only public art endowment in the country. We're unique in the nation, and we created the model that is the public art endowment. The public arts, they don't have a place. They have places. It's collectively uh, that a city would start to show that part of what their interest is. And that really kind of gives, um, gives rise, if you will, to a broad sensibility of what a city is, what it's made of, what, what its people are interested in, what they want, what they're trying to have for themselves and for the community at large and then for the world. I can't think of anything recently that has generated more interest among a whole huge group of people than the Public Art Endowment. It's fun, they've done a great job of promoting it, and um, it's educational. It's just a, it's a good thing. The process is that there is a committee of uh, professionals and people that know a lot about art, a lot more than most of us do, and they select uh, several pieces from which three are chosen. And then there's a meeting of all the donors or trustees in the program. And we talk about each piece. We look at different locations where they might be made. And then we vote. And it usually, I think, is a combination of where it's going to be and what it is, uh, coupled with how we personally react to the piece. I'm Walker Sanders with the Community Foundation. We're going to have the grand unveiling of our third public art piece. And before we do, I want to introduce who gets the honor of pulling it off. Uh, one, Fran Davis is representing the steering committee for the public art. Fran can't wave right now, but she's got the beautiful scarf on. Uh, Secretary of Cultural Affairs, Linda Carlisle. And from the city, John Gribble. All right, now let's give them a countdown. On countdown to three, two, one. All right. I have a sculpture, it's called Standing Vase and Five Flowers. I'm extremely pleased that it's here. It's not a hard, rigid kind of sculpture. Uh, it's, not a, it's not mean, you know, it's, it's not aggressive. Um, it's very, kind of easy in the psychological sense in as much as it's a standing vessel. And out of this vessel are growing five flowers, one facing each direction, north, east, south, and west, and then one coming out of the top. Every petal on this, on this piece of the flowers has an eye on it. That eye has a, a human significance, that it looks back at us, that it's telling us, it sees us, and we see it, and we then can communicate via that vision that it has. This piece, I think, it won because of its location. It fits its location so well. A lot of people from out of town staying either at the O'Henry or the proximity in that area, plus uh, there's some offices there, but Green Valley is also a major cut through, so I would say at least half the population of Greensboro goes through there probably on a fairly regular basis. So it would give you the combination of uh, local appeal plus a lot of out-of-town cachet too.